Hello everyone, I'm Louis and welcome to my channel. I like to do videos about video games, but every now and then I'll, I might do also videos about other topics. Today's video is going to be the first video that I'm narrating and it's going to be about Euro Wars Mobile. In this video, I'm going to focus on growing titans. So I'm going to demonstrate a bit uh, some of the resources that you use to grow titans and you know just some mechanics. Let's start off by checking on my inventory. I have here so a bunch of uh, remaining uh, soul stones for titans and I also have here 150 uh, summoning spheres and let's see as well I have 140k Titan potions, which is a lot. So, since I'm growing Titans, I might as well just check the current ranking to see how much I'm going to grow. So, in my uh, current ranking, uh, it's a bit not so high, but I have 425k or close to 26k um, total power for all the Titans. Let's also check on the titans themselves and what is my main team. So, and here we have it. We have about 200, uh, 190k uh, total power for this for this team, depending on composition. And usually my main tank is Angus, switching about these other heroes, these other titans here. Well then, it has flaws like every other titan team. More specifically, I'm having trouble in the dungeon. So Mary and, and Silva are, are quite a bit behind. And this is creati creating problems for me on certain compositions in the dungeon. I suppose I could also develop a bit the main the main um, titans, including Angus, including let's say Nova here, and and the super titans like Haraji, Haraji, which is here. But I'll likely, I think I'm going to upgrade first Mary and Silva, as this is going to help me a bit, a bit more on the long run with a dungeon. So, with this in mind, let's head to the, the circle of summoning. And the first thing we'll do here is open all these summoning spheres. Now, they don't give an, uh, us an option of opening uh, by sets of 10 or, or so, it's either one or all, so we're just going to open all of them now. Suppose we lost the audio here. Keep this a bit because I already have all the titans uh, six stars, so it really doesn't matter what titans come unless they are super because then it gives us more, more soul stones. In the end, they are just going to be all traded for for the coin. Yep, it's also interesting to to check on exactly the, the ratios of each each titan that comes out of these large openings so it's quite a bit of uh, soul stones coming out Total, we we had uh, apparently more going for the the fire titans here, no supers, and we also got uh, directly 
2500 um, 2, coins this is the, the full loot uh, suppose this is not actually something common I suppose uh, we're going to grab all this and head to the merchant here well as we go in the merchant uh, since we have our titan soul coins we can uh, trade we can trade uh, these titan soul coins for other things but we can also trade all the souls that we just received in extra for the max titans and and trade them for extra titan soul coins so we had about two and a half k and now we have 22k and we're just gonna grab the thing that we want which is the titan potions so as much as we can so we had about 140k and let's see how far can we go with this it's going pretty nicely and uh, nice <laughs> 227k titan potions so i suppose that's that's just about enough for a lot of of upgrades so the first thing that we will do i think it's going to be mary here so mary um yes close to 3 million health i was looking forward to get him to level 90 his current power is 29 and 900k 29k and 900 so let's start by growing a little bit this as you see the price keeps increasing for each upgrade and as we close to 90 it's now around 9k potions per level and increasing the health increased by around let's say 500k and the power increased as close to uh, another 5-6k uh, moving on I'm going to also upgrade a bit silver let's target for 18 so I don't sp overspend the titan potions and we are 27k and just a little bit bump here to 80 so gain about 2k in power so I have my now I have my uh, least interesting or important titans at level 80 that's just fine by now and I have then everything else at 90 100 or 110 so now my um, the first uh, uh, recommendation for an actual team is to leaving leaving uh, aside the, the the weaker titans is to grow your your tank first or at least keep keep the tank the main tank or the tanks in general always ahead of all your other titans so as we see here in this in this example here i have all my tanks about 10 levels um bigger than all the other um important titans and what what you consider important that will vary and for some of you you will focus on all the supers leave everything else behind some of you will will throw in the mix nova and ignish and um, that just depends but what i like to do is to keep the basically um tanks first because they they are the first in battle they are taking the damage first level them up first level them always stronger than all the rest and just keep keep everything else 10 levels or so um, behind um with the exception of the the titans you don't really use less less developed than everything else and you can always uh, make a bit more more uh, um, development on your supers but I don't really recommend having for example your supers in front 
in front of, of your tanks in terms of development because by experience as soon as the tanks go down everything else will start to fall apart very quickly and so the tanks are really the most important and just by just by experience I'm used to having my my team with the, my hangers at at 110 beating teams that have uh, any other tank at level 190, despite having the supers at 120. This is pretty common for me. So let's let's go and and jump in our angles. And angles here is at 47k. Uh, as you can see now, every upgrade is so difficult because it's taking close to 20k potions at the moment and increasing and it's just going to be a, a really a pain to, to, to do this and that's why I've been postponing these upgrades and trying instead to focus on other titans but suppose now is the time to do some major upgrades so let's see let's see what we can do now um, you just put a bunch of levels in here and Here's the max we could do, six levels, uh, still a bit more than I anticipated, that's nice. And we grew to 51k. Health is now close to 7 million. So let's now check on the competition how this turns out. And we see now we jumped just a mere 5k. It's not that much. Although I expect this to be uh, uh, really much different in terms of, of, of fighting. So now something something we could do is jump over here on the Titan field and just take any any random example just as to demonstrate the power of the tank i'm going to put here um let's say sigurd which is very common i'm going to put um let's say i should just going to do, do the same the same team i've been using lately to not deviate a lot from the the statistics so this one is a 180k team with the uh, level 100 tank now sigurd will will absorb a lot of damage from the incoming uh, team so the results will uh, vary maybe even surpass this attacking team maybe it will nerf completely my my Araji here but let's just take a look and see and see what is the result like this with this um, substantial difference in power but not overwhelming The other teams are already there. It had no chance. Let's um, let's do one more one more fight. Let's try instead. Um, let's try instead uh, replacing the one piece that is vulnerable uh, for this composition. So instead of using Araji, we're going to use Eden here. So uh, Araji has the problem that it will it will target uh, the first the first target in the opposing team, which is a tank. So this secret is most of the rocks the rock and the similar result only really Angus fell down now let's try also with uh, with Moloch as the last the last example here so we're gonna put exactly the same team here again 
and I'm gonna launch again angles on him with the exact same team Because uh, he got stunned, but um, yeah, unfortunately we cannot see the, the the stats right right afterwards. But we can resume. The that information that we were looking for, and so the information here shows us that um, on on Angus team, Iperion. Hyperion was the second most uh, damaging uh, Titan, but Hangus came first at 7 million. It was like exactly a bit <laughs> different than what I expected. I expected Angus to do a little bit less because of, um, of Moloch's stuns. But it turned out just that Angus did a lot of damage here and just comparing comparable to Hyperion on the opposing team. So just about roughly uh, an average 3 million damage on on absorbed by the other uh, enemy enemy titans each one of them and the majority of the damage being done by by these two here so that's interesting and i think that's that's enough for for now for statistics uh, regarding fights uh, as for the last thing i'm going to do as I just check on on the, the ranking, which should have by now updated. So Titan power ranking. So I I went up um, six positions. So an expression of I, if I remember correctly, um, 11 11k from 425k to 436 37 almost k. And yeah. That's it uh, for now. I guess um, the n some other videos I might I might go into other details like the uh, amount of or ridiculous amount of Titan artifacts I have here fragments uh, should I say fragments um, also the dust that I have here accumulated dust should be should be should be here yes this is all uh, in the cause for this is that I haven't really been very proactive in upgrading my titans because I'm I didn't feel quite right about which ones I should be focusing which artifacts for which titans um, but that's I guess coming to a, to a closure in the next day so I might be doing a video about that so I hope you enjoyed this even if you if you like this and order of my videos i suggested you you do some subscribing and see you out there bye bye and good luck